Hi everyone, Dr. Robinson here with another tech lesson for today. And today I'm going to go over how you configure the Braille display to work for you. So this little button between one and four, I've told uh, on the other videos for beginners, just kind of stay away from this for right now. But as you progress along, and it doesn't take very long, you do want to change your options. So you need to do this when you're in your status menu. So that means turn it on, make sure your JAWS is not on because you want just the clock to be showing. And of course it's flashing away and the clock option is also in this menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the menu and it's going to go into the menu options. And so here I am, and of course it says Focus 40, and it gives me the serial number and everything. And I want to go through my options, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my rocker. I could do 1, 2 in space, and 4, 5 in space, and there's different ways to do this, but I'm just going to show you one way right now. So I'm just going to move through with my rocker, and of course it just takes me through my options. So this is my repeat command. This is my rest command. This is my clock command. This is my calendar command. Anyway, there's lots of different options here based on your rocker, but I wanna go up to my repeat command. There's my rest, there's my repeat. Okay, and then once I'm at the option or the menu item that I want, I'm just gonna press dot eight to go into all of my options. I'm just gonna press dot eight. And right here, so it basically goes between off, it goes from low, it goes from medium to fast on how it's going to speak. I actually have it on two full cells. So this is going to be slow because I have a lot of beginners. Now, of course, my more advanced kids are going to have it all the way up to four. But it is, uh, so you can just use your rocker keys. Okay, there's one and there's, you know, they just... Keep, just keep hitting it and you will take it all the way through what you want and I want it on two and I'm going to leave it on two and I'm going to press dot eight to confirm that. So then when I go ahead and go in and it goes, it goes right back to repeat after I finish the dot eight. So let's go ahead and just quickly go to clock because a lot of people want to know how to do that. And of course I'm going to hit dot eight to confirm it. And I've confirmed it and it starts flashing. Well, this is already set up correctly because I've already done it. And you can just easily press your rocker button, of course, to change to what you want. And then there's your uh, colon. You're going to move to the next one. Just hit your right panning button and it moves to your next. And you've got your minutes and you set just with your rocker button. Go ahead and just set that. Hit your panning button. Go ahead and set your seconds. Uh, just leave it whatever. Uh, hit your panning button. Of course, you've got PM and AM and you can just quickly hit your rocker buttons on that also. Make sure you do confirm that with dot eight. Just press your dot eight and it confirms it. So those are probably the two biggest ones. But of course, you have you might want to deal with your calendar in there uh, and many other options uh, to adjust your display on how you want it to work. So very handy. But beginner, beginner kids accidentally hit that and of course, their brain lane, and then it totally loses focus because they accidentally hit that configuration menu. Uh, so that is how you easily adjust all of those options.